back in the buck nest today. It's been eight days since Sean and I were in here on the ground. We kind of gommed around in there pretty good that night. However, I don't think we spooked very many bucks. Um, in fact, when we left that night, they were still sparring in the field. So I just wanted to leave it sit because we left so much scent. We're on the way in right now to try to hunt the same stand set up that Corey and I hung when we uh, saw those two big boys together. I believe that was on the 12th. Last night, you had a front push through, south winds, some heavy rain, storms and stuff early in the morning. And then throughout the day today, the winds have switched out of the south to the northwest. Pressure's on the rise after that front is pushed through. It's not real cool out, but I checked one of my cameras up here at the end of this uh, field that these bucks are bedded in. And there's a big eight pointer going in here this morning at you know, eight o'clock. So I only got through about 20 pictures on that thing, but I, I saw Ray on there in the middle of the night once and uh, that big eight obviously going in here. So these bucks are still here. Um, I, I just very, very optimistic for tonight's sit. It's gonna be easier getting in tonight because it rained so much last night. It's dead quiet in these woods. It's gonna be quiet in that field. And as you can tell, the wind's blowing pretty good. So we ought to be able to sneak in right next to them again. That's the hope that we're gonna get set up in the tree without boogering anything, gonna take our time. Then maybe one of those big boys will stand up out by that willow and come work this scrape and give us a shot. be kind of a disappointing night in here. Hard to say it's disappointing when we did see a mature buck, one of the ones we're after. But we saw him at like 3.30, 4 o'clock. He was going up into that island. I bet he went up in there and just bedded back down. I don't know if he was just switching bedding areas during the day as that wind switches. That could have been it. Um, or what was going on. We did have a doe back in here when we were set up. If he was in there bedded, he might have made her a little bit nervous and made him move off, I don't know. But, haven't seen any bucks stand up out here by the willow. There's a doe and a fawn out there in the same spot. But, uh, no bucks out there yet. Got about 10 minutes left. However, looks like I got pictures of Ray on the camera on the way in here. I'll have to get back to the office and check, but there's also another big mature eight pointer on it this morning in daylight at eight o'clock heading back this direction. I'm sure he came back in here and bedded somewhere around this island, but haven't seen him tonight. All the buck movement we saw was real early and nothing since. There's a lot of other good spots in this general area that these bucks are living in that uh, will be good staying locations for the rut. That's that for the buck nest for tonight.